Travis with you. So I uh, caught on the news, the Deseret News article from yesterday, saying that uh, the vandals are wrong, that the church doesn't welcome predators. Apparently, this rising generation of Mormons are being kept in a bubble and are clueless about the church's most recent history, let alone the whole history. As a result, there's some problems that we need to remind them of. He went down a whole bunch of lists talking about how it's required to have two adults be with children at all times when being interviewed by bishops and such. Uh, this was because of the bishop who got excommunicated for exposing the child abuse by bishops, talking about sexual things where they shouldn't be. And thus the church changed to make it so that there's a script that the bishops must read and it's the exact same for the adults, minus of course the temple stuff. And so that's the major one that I saw that he was clueless about. The other, uh, there's the uh, the missionary girl who uh, was in the MTC and got raped by her mission president. What? She tried to sue, and uh, she ended up having to go down to his ward because justice was not being served, and uh, was bearing her testimony there. You can still find the video on YouTube. Okay. But uh, these kinds of atrocities are prevalent in the church. And for the Deseret News newly hired out of high school kid who has been blinded by the news, not even bothering to watch and pay attention, not even paying attention to the church news as the church keeps responding to all of the abuses that they are involved with. And lest we forget the Boy Scouts, thousands of boys raped by their <sighs> scoutmasters, both provided the church both providing the scoutmasters and the boys to be abused sexually. And so, uh, the, the other excuse that I saw there is that it tends to be this pattern of, well, we don't do that anymore. We're now implementing these things. Yeah, well, the reason why you're implementing these things is because you have been doing it in the past. You can't just say, oh, we're no longer racist because in 1978 they came out and said we're no longer racist. It doesn't hold water. You've got to give reparations for the past damages. Otherwise, atone. That's what reparations means. And instead, the church continues to demand atonement reparations from blacks with what's called tithing. You have to pay to be in this church and you have to pay the church atonement money. And so uh, these abuses need to stop and these younger rising generation need to wake up, start doing their research instead of just stepping up and trying to defend what is criminal and abusive. It's gone all the way back to Brigham Young and just because he's no longer alive and that he's no longer uh, to doing that stuff as a result, that doesn't mean he didn't do it. And all Mormons know and understand from our own scriptures what that means. It means he had no authority. He lost it. Yeah. And so thus, this church isn't true. And that's what these Mormons are not wanting to come to grips with, as they're making excuses to justify this kind of atrocious, criminal behavior. And it needs to stop. Mormons, you need to stop. You need to cut it out, behave, confess. You need to report this church. This is this cannot go on any further, and it's not just with sexual abuse. It's all types of abuse. I'm a victim of abuse, 
by the church. I didn't draw first blood. I came to the church as a translator and they wanted me dead for it. And so this is unacceptable. It's got to stop.